Rockhead Ranger Station. I have my good friend out in the water, um, Sean Altenberg from Montana Elements. He's going to be um, getting me across the water over here. Um, this is the north fork of the Flathead. Decided to go ahead and go this route to save about eight miles of hiking, so figured that was uh, probably a good thing. So, anyways, he's going to go ahead and have to muscle me across, which I think is um, pretty awesome of him because it's a feat because the water is moving pretty fast. So Sean's working his way back across the water like a champ. Using all of his torque to try not to go down the water. I think he's out of the eddy or he's out of the current. He's into the eddy. I think he's got it folks. He's back to the car. Flathead Ranger Station is located, You, may, most people would, will access it from the Apgar Lookout Road and you'll pass Quarter Circle Bridge, you might have to walk to that. Um, and then, yeah. So, the first three and a half miles of the hike are really great. Um, open, you know, the burn gives you fantastic views, tons and tons of flowers. Um, the loop and run out for me, the Indian paintbrush, just loads and loads of flowers. I'm just gonna talk just for a little bit and blab, babble, babble, so I can just show you all of them. The other thing is, saw a lot of birds. Um, got to see a wren again. Some that I was able to get, like a ruffed grouse. Quick story about that guy, or girl. I think that her chicks were by me because she was ornery. She was all tacking me and flaring her, uh, um, flaring around her neck and her tail and just being real aggressive. And the only other time I've had that happen to me was when I had a grouse do that when I know there was chicks around. But I thought that I heard it. So anyway, um, yeah, lots of other pretty sweet birds. Nice views you can see. Um, within that first three and a half miles and almost to the end of it, you get really cool views of where the Middle Fork and the North Fork converge, um, where it's Blankenship Bridge. So that's pretty, pretty nice epic view there. Beyond those three and a half miles, they haven't, Trail Crew hasn't come to it this year. They're supposed to do it um, about the middle of September. So that one is downfall hell. It is just downfall everywhere. So yeah, just know that if you go before the middle of September that you're just gonna be doing everything from climbing and crawling. I might have just changed this place to climb, crawl, whatever, 734 miles. I did miss one section, that was the Lime Springs. I started going up it, but the that thing hasn't been maintained in years. And I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with that because it was pretty disappointing. So I might have to come back and do that later on this year. Might try to talk to the trail crew to see if they have any plans to take care of that because if they do, that would be nice. Let's just say that that building needs a little bit more than a remodel. It's uh, definitely been burned probably a couple times now by fire. Also, there tends to be a few flowers or birds that I can't identify. Um, go to my Facebook page. I'm gonna go and create a folder that's unidentified birds or unidentified flowers or just unidentified. So check that out and let me know in the comment section below the, the pictures what you think they are or more appropriately what they really are. This is one of the few places in the park that you can actually ride a mountain bike. So um, yeah, there's really nice single track here so take advantage of that. Overall though, the hike itself, once they clear it all the way there, is really great. I mean, it's you know, if you're a, pro a person who doesn't like to hike um, with lots of elevation change because it kind of hurts your knees, this one go goes up and down, but real gradual. And uh, overall, you'd end up not losing or gaining too much elevation. And yeah, lots of birds and flowers. And I've seen lots of signs, so I know that there's animals in here. And this is about the area that I saw the elk and uh, the bear last time. So anyway, yeah. I think it's a doer. It's going to be definitely, once again, another one of these really warm ones in the summer because it's not a lot of cover. But you can see a lot more, which is the, the yin and the yang of a burn. So that's the old Flathead Ranger Station.